going on guys jay parker silver stacker here <clears throat> got a quick update on some purchases i've got and all this right here my wife happened to pick up for me for christmas it's stocking stuffer there's about nine dollars face here and two dollars in roosevelt dimes and the rest are in walking liberty halves for my album sorry if i sound kind of funny i've been battling a cold the last few days but let's get go forward here um, I picked up a few Standing Liberty Quarters for my album. Nice 1926. P, Philadelphia. <clears throat> and a 1926 D. And I picked up a couple uh, Franklin halves. 1962 D as well. And I picked up 1960, Philadelphia. <clears throat> and I've been starting to buy dimes again. I picked up um, $2 in mercury dimes for this tube. I think there's two dimes in here. <laughs> so let's put all these in here. There's no special dates or anything in these dimes. It's just mostly 40s and 30s. A couple 20s. But we're going to try to fill this. I hope everyone had a happy holiday. Christmas just passing. There we go. That one is only a few more dollars for that one. And I think, I've, yeah, I've got $3.00. And Roosevelt dimes here and two in this bag, so be able to get those out. And that one will complete that tube. Trying to do this as quickly as oops. Quickly as possible. Not to make this a long video. Just wanted to get these coins in the albums. Show you guys what I picked up. Like I said, I'm still battling a cold, so <clears throat> just my luck. I get sick on Christmas. <laughs> there. And that will complete that tube. Full two Roosevelt's now. Awesome. I think we should start out with the Franklins, since there's only two of them. Tad. We'll start out with those. Open this up to second page. We will be adding 1960. Philadelphia. There we go. And the second page is really starting to come along really nicely. And I've just been picking these up at my local coin shop. And I'm getting down to where he doesn't really have any more than I need, so I think I might have to start buying the rest on eBay or somewhere else. There's not a lot of these floating around at his shop. This one's actually really nice. It's got a couple of nicks right there, as you can see. But overall, this is a pretty nice coin. 1962 D. Put that right there. There we go. Nice addition. There, look at that. The whole bottom half of this page is done. Just need six more coins. And then we can move on and complete that side. Awesome. And now let's move on to the Standing Liberty Quarters. We'll start with 1926D, which I believe that will be the last coin that we add on this page. Not too bad, very nice example. 
26D. Yes, and that will complete <clears throat> the second page of the Standing Liberty Quarters. Look at that, guys. That's awesome. All done. The next coin will be officially the first coin on the first page. And this one is really nice. And I think from now on, these coins on the front page are going to be quite expensive. I'm going to have trouble getting this case open. So don't be surprised if you don't see me um, buying as many Standing Liberty Quarters as fast as I'm buying the other ones for my albums. Because, like I said, these Standing Liberty Quarters get expensive on the first page. This one is very nice. It's got a lot of nice detail, a lot of nice luster. A lot of the chest detail and the shield details there. It's got a nice little rainbow toning. Beautiful coin. And a very nice detail. And we will be adding that right here. <clears throat> there. It's official. We've got the first coin um, for the first page. Done. We'll move on to 1925 next, guys. Awesome. And for the last one, I've got quite a bit to add. Both these stacks here are all coins that I need for my Walking Liberty half dollars. And we'll start with a 1935. Very nice coin. There we go. Perfect. The next one. This one is really special. A 1916 S mint mark. And I got this for 12 and a half times face. I found it searching through the junk bin. It's not too bad. It's not perfect, but I'm not going for perfect coins in this album. I'm going for coins that I can pick up at reasonable prices that will make great album fillers. And if I can get a nice coin in better shape at a good price, you know, I'll swap some out. 1944S. And I believe that was the last 44 that I needed. Awesome. That'll complete that row. 1942 D, which is right there. Perfect. 1939 S, pretty good shape. We'll slide this. 39 S is up here. Be another great addition and this album is really starting to take shape now i can't believe i found a lot of these that fast just at my lcs's junk bin 1941s and that one is right there too there we go 41D, and that one is right there. Close that for now. The next one's in the 30s. There we go. The next one's 36D. 36D is right there.
another 36, 36S, which that means I will have all the 36s that I need for this album, which is awesome. Oh man, my nose is killing me. 34, Philadelphia, right there. Perfect. 42S. Perfect. I think that one will complete. Yeah, right there. It'll complete that row. Perfect. Look at that, guys. This page is looking fantastic. I need three more, which I don't believe I have in these stacks. 37, Philadelphia. And that one will go right there with the 36s to complete that row. Awesome. And 37S. Which that one goes right below the 36s. Sleeve slid out. There we go. Got that started. Last but not least. 1918. It's got some nicks, but it'll be a great hole filler. 36 p. Er, not 36. 1918 Philadelphia. We go nicely with my 1918 S. That one will go right there. All right, guys. That's it. I just wanted to make a quick video. The album is really starting to fill up especially towards the back pages. Look at that, guys. And I'm really impressed with this page. Only three more to go. And I still have not found that 1946S yet at the LCS. But the next time, hopefully, it'll be in the junk bin. He gets new junk silver constantly every day. But that's it for now, guys. Jay Parker, Silver Stacker, out.